example four. Okay, so the table below uh, shows the total fat and total calories in the fast food. So you should be able to see that within the example. Um, it says find the mean number of grams of fat, blah, blah, blah. Construct a scatter plot for this diagram. Plot the mean point, etc. Find the equation line the best fit. Okay, so um, in an IA, you might be expected to do this by hand. Uh, but if you've got access to a GDC, I don't see why we shouldn't use that. So we've got a table of data, list and spreadsheets. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start a list in the spreadsheet. Um, always best to label our um, columns. So the information we're interested in is fat and calories. And we're just going to input the data. So sorry that you're actually watching me type data in. Um, I know it's like watching paint dry, um, but it should give you the time to input your data as well. Um, checking as you go. Okay. 25. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces of data. We're at a 10, 11. That's good. Uh, right, match up the calories. So 320, 420, 530. Okay, so we've got our data inputted. We've got our labels um, at the top. So we're, we need to find the mean number of grams of fat, mean number of calories, con construct, etc. So um, we can do the, all of that within our statistics. So we're going to do a stat calculation. And there's two things that are changing, hence bivariate data, two variable statistics. So now we're into our wizard. Um, it's saying, where, where's our X data? So that was our fat. Uh, the Y list is our calories. Frequency list, we have one of each. Category list, we're not interested in. Include categories, no. Result, result, results column, let's put for column C. Remember that square brackets means column. Hit OK, and it gives us all of the information we could ever need. Okay, so, uh, oh, cancel. Sorry. So, um, X bar, the mean number of grams of fat is 22.5 to three significant figures. Sigma X is something that you'll need for R if you want to do that by hand, which you can look at later. Um, X, sigma X squared again. Uh, SX and Sigma X. Sigma standard deviation is 9.33. Uh, so we're interested in this one for the um, standard deviation if that's part of the calculation. Uh, it tells us we have 11 pieces of data and it also tells us that the mean number of calories is 457 to three significant figures. So that's part A and B done. Um, just keep going down sigma y, sigma y squared. So if you wanted to do the R value by hand, you have that information there. Sigma y, the standard deviation of y is 112 calories. Um, then we've got sigma xy, um, R value. So this is the interesting one. So before we go into part C and construct a plot, it tells us we've got an R value of 0 0.975. Because we've got a R, a R value that's very close to 1, when we plot our data as a scattered plot, I would anticipate that we would see a straight line that's going, f uh, or we should be able to see a straight line or a very, fairly good straight line, starting at bottom left, going to top right. Um, Find the mean point in your scatter diagram and use it to align best fit. Well, okay, we're not going to do it by hand. We are going to do it via the GDC. So if we hit control, doc, and then intro introduce this, it plots our data, but it doesn't really tell us much. Fat in calories. Is calories dependent on the fat or is fat dependent on the calories? I think fat is our X variable, okay, because it's in that's independent of the number of calories. Um, so calories is the dependent variable, and as you see, we now got that straight line, which sort of is implied by that R value. Um, now we want to do some uh, analysis of this, so we're going to go to, um, sorry, analyze, and for a line of best fit, we're actually looking at a regression, okay? So it's the linear regression. You'll notice that we have two of them. Uh, one is for statistics, so this one, the other is the way that we would recognize it. I would advise that you stick with the first one just so the letters match what you know. Hit that one, um, and it gives us a straight line passing through the points 11.7x plus 194 um, on the value. So that's your linear regression, and that's a super accurate linear regression, as accurate as we can be.